Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back for another Top 10 Hostile Life episode. Today we have Top 10 Short Range ARs. A few weeks ago I did Long Range ARs and I wanted to do the other side of this to do it justice. Really good assault rifles can be good at any kind of range, but some of them excel at close range better than others, so I wanted to make a list of these that you guys could, you know, go and try out. Hopefully you agree with me, but you know what? I'm right anyway, so without any further ado, I'm just going to let you guys know. I'm not including any NX epics or rares because reasons, and with number 10 spot, we have the F2000 Tactical. Very high fire rate, great damage, very tight recoil pattern, recoil does not jump up very fast, although it does get relatively big over time, it's definitely not unmanageable, makes it very easy to use in close range combat. In ninth place, we have the AN-94 Tact Op for the sheer reason of the amount of damage it does. Around 50 damage, very powerful assault rifle. Should kill anything except a Hauser in three shots at close range. Hauser might be four shots, but nothing is going to take 200 damage worth of, you know, damage. So, at least not that and survive. In 8th place, we have the M6A2 CQB. Very nice weapon, actually. It's a GP weapon, higher mag size than usual with 35 shots per mag, very high fire rate and damage. The recoil is very manageable. Kind of tight spread, which is good. Definitely helps at close range combat, so... Going on, we have the M417 CQB and the Rec 7. Both of them have similar recoil patterns, and I find that the recoil pattern on the M417 CQB is better than the one in the combat. It's easier to control at close range, although it is a little bit harder to use at long range in my opinion. Both of these weapons have fairly low recoil and, as usual, great damage for close range. Next up, we have the M16A4 Firebug. Very low spread, very high fire rate. This makes for a great close quarters combat weapon, but unlike a lot of these other ones, it also excels at long range. Although this is primarily for short range, you have to keep into account the fact that it can be usable at a lot of different ranges, but this weapon does excel at close range, better than long range in my opinion, just due to the fact of the low spread and the high fire rate. High fire rate can be harder to control at longer ranges. Next up is the one a lot of you guys would expect to have on this list, the M416 CQB. Super low recoil, good damage, great damage drop off. It's going to do a lot of damage very quickly at any range, and even more so at close range. What can you really argue with? In fourth place, we have the Scar L Black specifically. The recoil pattern is a little bit different on this weapon with an iTech scope, uh, iTech scope. It can really, really excel. The damage drop off is great. The damage is good. The recoil is a bit higher, but it's very easy to manage once you've got that iTech sight on there. That's how I would suggest using the weapon. Very good weapon for close range combat. If nothing else, the burst mode can definitely help lower the recoil enough to make it usable at close range and long range. In third place, we have the M4A1. You can customize this weapon for higher damage, higher fire rate, and higher recoil, although I would usually not suggest doing that. It has a very low spread by default, and you want to maintain that. The fire rate's very high, and like I said earlier, you can make it higher. The damage drop-off by default is very, very good in this weapon, and when you can increase the damage stat, it be even higher. Damage drop-off goes even that much further. In second place, we have the Parafowl. It's very similar to the M4A1 in my opinion. Has that same low spread feel to it. The damage drop-off is even better than the M4A1, although the actual stat doesn't get as high as a customized M4A1. Still an excellent weapon to have at close range because the shots are going to go where you want them to go with the tight spread that it's got. In first place is a weapon most people would never even think about, the Carbon 15. Huge fire rate for an assault rifle. Very, very low spread, super, super versatile with an iTech sight on it. Performs very well at almost any range, but this weapon dominates at close range. Not many other assault rifles can stand up to it at close quarters combat, and you will see that if you get the chance to use it. I suggest going to check out my review on it. It's not a weapon you see around very much, but it is a great weapon for close combat. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share your own thoughts in the comment section below. I love reading them. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Shadowlance out.